In contrast to June and July, August was a cool and wet month. It was in fact the coolest August for the UK since 1993, and some areas also saw some early ground frosts. It was the eighth wettest August for the UK in a series from 1910. For North Scotland, it was the wettest August on record, and the Shetlands had not only their wettest August, but also their wettest day on record. The standard meteorological summer season spans the period from 1st June to the end of August, so let's take a quick look at the season overall. The contrasting conditions of some fine weather in June and July and more unsettled cooler conditions through August mean the summer statistics overall are unexceptional. Temperatures were 0.5 degrees above the 1981-2010 to summer average, with no major heat waves and slightly cooler than last year, but it is still within the top 15 warmest summers of the last century. Overall, the UK had 108% of average summer rainfall. Heavy rainfall associated with ex-Hurricane Bertha contributed nearly one-third of the summer rainfall for the Moray area in northeast Scotland. Elsewhere, Wales and northern England were slightly drier than average, and the south of England slightly wetter. Now let's take a look at the statistics for August. The provisional mean temperature was 13.9 degrees Celsius, which is one degree below the 1981-2010 to average. The second half of the month saw some notably cool days and nights with some early ground frosts in places. August has ended a run of eight consecutive warmer than average months. Rainfall was above average, particularly across northern Scotland which had its wettest August in a series from 1910. The UK overall received 156% of average rainfall and is the eighth wettest in the series. Hours of bright sunshine were above average in north and west Scotland, northern Ireland and north England. Elsewhere they were close to or marginally above average and 107% of average for the UK overall. So where were the hottest, coldest, wettest and windiest places in August? A maximum temperature of 27.2 degrees Celsius was recorded at St James Park, Greater London on the 7th. A minimum temperature of minus 2.1 degrees was recorded at Braemar, Aberdeenshire on the 25th. In the 24 hours ending at 0900 GMT on the 10th, 132.6 millimetres of rain fell at Fair Isle, Shetland, making it the wettest day on record for the Shetland Isles by a large margin. A wind gust of 64 miles per hour was recorded at Needles, Isle of Wight on the 10th. So let's take a look at the weather that defined August. The month opened with a mix of sunshine and showers affecting most areas through the first few days, but there were spells of pleasant summer weather. This satellite sequence shows relatively clear skies for most through the day on the 7th, which saw the highest temperatures of the month recorded in the London area. The weather then turned wetter and windier for most. Intense rainfall caused flooding in Cambridgeshire on the 8th. A low pressure system tracked up the North Sea on the 9th, resulting in the wettest day on record for the Shetland Islands. On the 10th, ex-Hurricane Bertha tracked across the country, bringing very high rainfall totals. The heaviest rain was in the Moray area, where Lossiemouth recorded 100 millimetres in one day, far in excess of the average monthly total. Wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour were recorded, which are unusual, but certainly not unprecedented for the time of year. The rainfall from this weather system alone contributed significantly to north and east Scotland exceeding their summer average rainfall. A common feature of the weather in August was for low pressure systems to be located to the northeast of the country. This established periods with northerly airflow for the country, resulting in low temperatures for the time of year. A particularly cool spell from the 19th to 24th saw the temperature at Hearn in Dorset get as low as 2.5 degrees Celsius on the 24th. The tail end of the month saw some heavy rain across southern England and Wales on the 25th, coinciding with the bank holiday Monday, but some fine weather returned for many in the final few days of the month.